Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new Johnny on Late Night. Act TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. With your host, me, Johnny. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for you all to be here to experience me. I'm great. And, you know, if you keep watching, maybe one day you could get there too. Probably not. It's a very high standard. But we can all have hope. Hope is a good thing. It can also be the thing that crushes your very soul. So don't bank on it, okay? <laughs> Anywho, we've got lots of news for you, as always. At the end of the day, that is my job, you know, to report on said news and to keep you up to date with all of the things going on around you that are very important and very much so affect your lives. Except for anything that Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, or any of those other celebrities are doing. They, it probably won't affect you in any sort of way. But we love to hear about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, up first, as always, we've got one of our favorite segments, which is Broken News. Oh my gosh, up first on Broken News, we've got something that's going on right now, which happens all the time, every year. Yeah, this is a thing. So if you haven't heard about it, I don't know where you've been, you uncultured swine, okay? We are talking about the Chinese New Year, okay? It started yesterday. Yes, we may have already started 2023, but this is the Chinese New Year, and this year it is the year of the rabbit. Yes! You rabbits out there, if you were born in the year of the rabbit, you've got, you've got uh, lots of good things coming. You know, you're going to be successful, you're going to be great, you're going to meet a new lover maybe, you're going you're gonna to do lots of good things in, in the year of the rabbit, you know. It may not sound as cool as last year's animal, which it was the year of the tiger last year, which very easily could maul a rabbit, you know, could definitely just eat a rabbit up. Uh, but the tiger's year was last year, and the rabbit said, move over, did a little bunny hop, kicked him in the face, and said, get out of here, it's our time to shine. So yeah, just wanted to give you a little update on that. We're going to be celebrating that for the week, so yeah. Happy Chinese New Year, everybody. Also in the news, we've got, oh my gosh, get this. Kylie Jenner, one of the Jenner sisters who is half-sisters with the Kardashians. Yeah, you know her, Kylie, Kendall, Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Rob. Oh, there's a lot of them, okay? The list goes on and on, especially once you start naming their children. It's like they just pop out of nowhere. They're duplicating. It's crazy. They gotta have some sort of fancy machine that's just like, you know... Enter, and then it's a copy and paste. Yeah, they just come out of a machine later. Anyways, Kylie Jenner is in the news with, uh, with uh, Travis Scott because their baby, the name of their baby, has officially been revealed, okay? Originally, I believe they named it like Wolf Webster. Wolf Webster? Yeah, like rawr, Wolf, yeah. <laughs> You know, um, and they didn't like that, so they changed it and finally solidified the name as Air Webster, spelled A-I-R-E, yeah, but pronounced air, like the air we breathe, you know, well, some of us, some of us breathe the air, some are no longer with us, and they don't breathe anything, that's not the point. <laughs> Uh, Air Webster. Air Webster is the name of Kylie and Travis's baby. You know, I find it strange that Kylie is with a Travis, Travis Scott, and then Courtney is also with a Travis, Travis Barker. It's a little weird. There's a, there's a lot of Travises coming around. Conspiracy theory, maybe? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. <laughs> 
Also in the news, we've got Alec Baldwin. Now, you may have heard about this a while back. It's been a very long time. Uh, but Alec Baldwin shot a guy, uh, and he died. The guy died. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. You know, most days I don't think of acting as a very dangerous profession. You know, you're acting, right? Uh, Alec Baldwin changed that in the matter of seconds when he fired off a prop gun that happened to have not blank blanks in the, the the chamber and it shot a man or woman I I don't remember and it shot a person and they died uh, and originally the statement was that Alec Baldwin would be charged for involuntary manslaughter now we're finding out Alec Baldwin Baldwin will not be charged for shooting Russ director Joel uh, I don't know his last name but uh, I don't think Joel died. I think it was the cinematographer who died. So we're going to have to follow up on that and see if Alec gets charged and uh, convicted and all of that stuff for the involuntary manslaughter. I don't know what if there's time for that, like if he's got to go to the jail that Julie and Todd Chrisley are at or what. But, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that for sure and keep guns out of Alec Baldwin's hands definitely for the rest of his life. Yeah. Get this! A politician that we all know, uh, who recently retired, Nancy Pelosi. Do you know her? Yeah, you probably have heard of her before. Uh, Nancy Pelosi tried to excommunicate evil spirits from her San Francisco townhouse after the vicious attack on her husband in October. Yeah. I mean... A guy comes in and just attacks her husband with like a hammer or something and now she's saying that the demons did it so she called a priest to do like an exorcism on her house so I don't know what demons she's been seeing but I don't think it's from that attack could have been anything else that happened while she was in politics I heard that politicians have a lot of demons so I don't blame her for calling a priest you know I would too if I had that many demons, you know, I would want a priest to come in and just say, Spirits, if you are here, I want you all to know that you are officially canceled! Because nobody wants no bad spirits, no, no bad juju and demonic uh, presences in their, their homes. It's just a fact. No one needs that. No one wants that. You know? What was that? There was a noise. I think my demons are coming for me. <laughs> That's it for broken news for today's episode. And now it's time we move on to our next segment, which is Hyper Headlines. Yes, Hyper Headlines. This is, this is the time when we talk about things and we talk about them fast. And if you don't catch it, that's too bad. It's your own fault. Okay, you don't get to blame no one but yourself, just like real life scenarios. Okay, at the end of the day, you shouldn't blame anyone but yourself for your problems. Okay, it's, it's on you. Stop playing the blame game. No one likes, no one likes that person. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that got really deep. Hyper headlines. First up, we have Britney Snow. Do you know Britney Snow? She was in lots of movies, including Hairspray and the Pitch Perfect trilogy. Yes, Britney Snow has officially filed for divorce from her husband, Tyler Staniland. Staniland. Staniland? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It has too many, too many, um, whatchamacallit, syllables. <laughs> Or maybe it doesn't. I'm just pronouncing it with more syllables than it are. I don't really care. Anyway, she filed for divorce. So all I'm hearing is there's a chance. <laughs> so, Brittany, uh, I got my phone right here. And anytime you want to dial into this show, I will answer. Anytime. It doesn't matter what time of day. I don't care where you are. You could be in a different time zone. You could be up in outer space and still call. And I would take that. Even I would I would pay those those long distance fees. Yeah. 
and we can make it work, okay? I have ex-lovers, you have ex-lovers. It makes sense to me. You sing, I love to sing, you're an actress, I'm great in bed. Also in the news, we've got Selena Gomez, who is also a very big crush of mine. Love her, love her long time, always have, always will. But, uh, you know, she's, she's breaking my heart out here, <laughs> okay? Uh, so rumors have been flying that Selena Gomez has a new lover, a new, a new boyfriend, a new fling, uh, who happens to be a member of the Chainsmokers. Selena, you should never, ever date a chain smoker, okay? It's very bad on the lungs. <laughs> Drew Taggart. Uh, who is a part of the musical group uh, Chain Smokers? I don't know if they actually smoke on chains. Like chains of. Yeah. <laughs> but that is their name. Uh, and, you know, people were talking about it. And then Selena made a post that was like, I'm just so happy doing me and living my life. Hashtag I am single. So everyone was like, oh my gosh. So she debunked that. Uh, I, she's single. There's nothing else we can say about it. But then, allegedly, the, pub, the couple was seen in public holding hands in New York. New York City. So, Selena, you're really giving me mixed signals here, okay? Like, what are you doing? Can you tell me? But anyways, that's not the only news about Selena. Selena has been casted in Marvel Cinematic Universe's Agatha Coven of Chaos which is a spin-off of the WandaVision show. Yeah, uh, so it's a secret role. We'll see what Selena does in that, you know? Love it. Love to see Selena getting the success and the roles and recognition that she truly deserves. But I really wish she would dump this chain smoker guy and hit me up. <laughs> also in the news, We've got Miley Cyrus once again. You know, we talked about her song, Flowers. Well, get this. Miley is out here just destroying some records. Okay, she has beaten Taylor Swift's anti-hero in the list of most, li most streams on Spotify. But also, she set the record on Spotify for uh, over a million streams in one week. Like the fastest. She just hit it. She did it. And I understand why there's a lot of controversy around this song, and it's a banger. It's a bop. Miley really slapped us all with that one, but mostly slapped Liam, you know? He got what was coming. Karma, she takes no prisoners. She just goes after them and murders them. Yeah. So that happened. Also in the news, we've got one sad piece of news, okay? I know, this show is starting to feel a lot like Game of Thrones because every episode, there's another death. <laughs> Singer-songwriter and guitarist uh, David Crosby, uh, one of the founding members of two popular and uh, enormously influential 60s rock bands, 60s rock bands, uh, The Birds and Crosby, Stills & Nash. Later, they called it Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Fun fact, uh, he has passed away, sadly. You know, uh, he was 81 years old, and a cause of death has not yet been revealed. But, uh, yeah, you know, David, he did lots of, lots of really good things in his life. He started these great bands that changed the tide for a lot of music. Uh, but also, he opened up about how he and his wife, Jan, took in a then 14-year-old Drew Barrymore, took Drew Barrymore in after meeting her in a treatment center, you know, for her, her drug addiction at a very young age, 14 years old. And he took her in. That's so nice. That's so kind. Ugh. I haven't seen a post or anything from Drew yet, but I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure she's going to do something on her show here this week, probably by the time this episode's posted, honestly. But yes, that is sad. David, uh, thank you for all you did for, for music, for, you know, entertainment and everything uh, in general. Uh, you will be missed. Well, that's it for today's news. I mean, we covered a lot of things. 
But geez, you know, as always, I can't just let you off the hook that easy. We have to find out what's in my drawers. Yes. But if you want to find out what's in my drawers, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button right now. Hit it. Hit it. Did you hit it? I feel like Dora. Who am I talking to? <laughs> You're not answering yet. That's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna trust that you hit that button, okay? Uh, but anyways, we're gonna find out here what's in my drawer. Oh my goodness. This is like a, this is like I just found a treasure chest. This is like gold up in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. This also comes with some news, okay? This is like a double whammy. You're getting news and you're getting, you're getting, um, I can't think of anything that rhymes with news that would work here, but you're getting news and you're getting Johnny doing something really cool, okay? So, <clears throat> this is a, a Michael Jackson CD, okay? And then we got a Michael Jackson bad cassette tape. Oh my gosh, it's not a bad cassette tape. It's a good cassette tape titled bad, okay? And then, and then we've got something here that's very powerful, I hear. Very, very, very powerful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, uh, so this is Michael's glove, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. And, of course, Michael Tat. If you've been following me, you know that I'm a big... MJ fan. Very big, very large. Love him. He's great. He's influential. He's a dancer. He's a singer. He's an activist. He's a, he, he does a lot of things. He's great. Okay, we can all agree. R.I.P. to the king of pop. Okay? Uh, but no, this is also news because there is a Michael Jackson biopic similar to the one of Freddie Mercury and Queen and Whitney Houston and I Want to Dance with Somebody and all of these other biopics that have been coming out. Uh, but this one is about Michael Jackson and his life. And they have officially found a director for it, which means things are going, they're coming together. They're moving along. And we're probably going to get more news on that as time goes by. And I'm very excited to see what topics they cover, how they, how they tell this story in a two-hour period, two and a half, like... It's going to have to be a four-hour movie just to fit all the music in. There's so much. I mean, the, the number ones on here, there's only 18 songs, but that doesn't even list the other 40 that are just so great. I mean, jeez, you could just hit next on anything, and there's just a bop after it. We love Michael. Gosh, there was nothing bad about him. Well, I mean, there's some people that would like to talk about I'm not getting into the controversy. Okay, not Michael. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, this is what was in my drawers. I know, you wish you could rock it. You wish you could wear it. You wish you could be as cool as me, but you never will be. Okay? Because I am the chosen one with the glove and the hat. I wonder if this thing lights up. Let's check. Oh my gosh, it's like magic. Oh, that's just brilliant. I feel like I'm glowing. Am I glowing? Or is it just the hat? I, I don't know. Yeah. Anywho, that's it for today's news. I hope you learned something new and you had a great time while doing it. Because learning's only fun if it's fun while doing it. Otherwise, it's just learning. And no one ever liked school, okay? Anyways, I will see you guys later this week, specifically on Thursday, with a brand new episode. Uh, and we're going to talk about more news and more things that have happened throughout this week, this coming week. Uh, so yeah, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave some comments telling me what you've been hearing in the tabloids and in the news. And maybe we'll read them in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all, and have a good night. See you later. Goodbye, everybody. Hee <laughs> hee. Woo. I just love it so much.